When one hears the word goblin, it may conjure up an image of a mischievous impolite creature with a penchant for trickery, a name evoked to keep small children in their beds at night. But what if I was to tell you there is another sort of goblin, one with a mouthful of sharp teeth and the dead black eyes of a shark, that they were once human like you or I, but twisted into their terrible forms by fell magic and sent with unwavering obedience to punish and devour those they once loved. of the show, Actual Play Podcast presents Zweihander, Feast of Goblins. Your weapon carves deeply into your foe's hip and pelvis, severing the near leg from the body before burying itself into the far leg. They slide off your weapon slowly, <laughs> dead before the body hits the ground. I got it. I Hooray! killed the hedonist. At this, there is a howl coming from the common room. Oh! What was that? From the door, Bias, you, uh, you know, you're, you're getting ready to line up your, your knives, mm-hmm. but your lakeside traveling companion is uh, howling, and then he transforms into a beast, half man, half wolf. I'll throw a knife at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you, you're, you're spinning around to throw the knife, but moment, moments before that, Ilsa... You hear this, you see the, uh, this beast sort of collapse onto the floor in a heap of blood and flesh and bone. And what are you doing? I run over and give Helmet a hug. <laughs> oh, thank you, Helmet. That's all right. I'm here to protect you. I thought we were all going to die. <laughs> thank you, Marja. And Rafe's in the hall somewhere, aren't you? He's there too. Yeah, thank I'm like you, right, next, right next to Helmet, presumably. You saved our lives. What's that howl though? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't speak too quickly. This sounds bad. Where's Bias? Uh, you can see him down the corridor at the door, in motion, turning around to look into the room. His hand uh, coming up behind him with a dagger in it, as if to throw it. We better help him. Can I go down there to help? You can, if you want to. You can. Yeah, don't you really can. want to, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, you can also like delay your action and do something later. It's up. Up. Um, which doesn't cost any action points. You can move to him. That'll cost an action point. When you see what's happening in the room, you might want to take some more action. Up to you. Um, I'll move down to him. Looking in the room, you can see uh, there is a, a man undergoing a hideous transformation into a, a wolf-man hybrid. All right, there's another one here. Help. Do you want to take any? You've got two action points left. Um, I'm going to hold it onto them. Okay. So you let me know if... When you want to act. Marja. I'm going to move, like hearing that from Ilse, I'm going to move out into the corridor and stand in front of Bias, shield up, dagger ready, dirk ready. Okay. I'm not trying not to block his throw. So you one action point to, to get to him, and move in front ready. of him, and then you've got two in defence. Yep. Bias. Or if, if he moves into Malik, can I stab at him as an action? Yeah, 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 and then keep one for defensive. Opportunity defensive. attack is a reaction. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to I'll let you spend an action point to attack him. Well, if he moves, is he? If he moves into melee, range. if he moves into melee, yeah, cool. Yeah. Bias swings around. There is now Marja. Sort of, uh, she sort of stepped in front of you, cool, to shield you, but you can, and you can throw over her shoulder. Yeah. Do you want to go throw? If for every, um, if you want to do multiple attacks. Then it's minus 10 for the first, minus 20 for the second attack, and so on. Mm-hmm. And you have to declare them all multiple I'll, I'll attacks two. straight away. Two? Yeah. Okay. So first attack, minus 10. Oh, the first one's minus, minus 10. Because minus I'm 10. Doing to, two. Okay. Yeah. And the second one will be minus 20 to hit. Yep. Uh, seven. Is a hit. You want to nice. roll your damage? Oh, damage. Okay. 
Uh, what's the damage of a throwing knife? D6. 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 It's always a D6. Okay. It's D6 plus your uh, combat bonus. Or if it's finesse, I think it's agility bonus. Oh, yeah. Well, I rolled a fantastic one. <laughs> uh, agility bonus. Where, did you, where do I find that? Uh, right. Three. Okay, so four damage. Okay, you can turn that D6 into a six if you want to by spending a miss. Um, there's Wolfsbane on the dagger, so he gets another D6. You also get another D6 because of the Wolfsbane. Six. Roll it again. Yep. Roll okay, it again. So, that's, so far that's ten, four plus six, and five, fifteen. Fifteen. You happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it moves to moderately wounded. Roll a D6 to see if you injure it. One. You don't injure it. Unless you spend a fortune point. Yeah, well, I definitely want to wound it, so yes, fortune. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Cobbett so bad when someone gets there. <laughs> it's just going to all come tumbling back on us. All right. Whatever. Well, you do a... The faster we kill these things, I guess. A moderate better. wound. Mm-hmm. I've still got another attack. So roll, it for the, roll the D100 for the wound? Yep. 16. It cops it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, even though uh, throwing like you have the eye is pretty good, yeah, full Spain maybe it's like fizzling, sizzling, and so it needs to flip um, skill tests which rely on vision, uh-huh. which combat is. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. that's actually a that pretty was worth, the first fortune point was definitely worth good it. Good result. <laughs> yeah, um, but I've got another attack. Yep, go for it. Minus twenty. No, I missed that one. It's go. So it. Moves in, and I get an attack of opportunity against it. Yeah, it sort of blunders forward, trying to strike out. Are you do understand? Thirty-seven to hit. <laughs> I think Vice should get a bonus against this guy's hatred <laughs> bonus. <laughs> no, like a em- empathic comradeship bonus. <laughs> should be a penalty. Be- been it? there, a been there bonus. <laughs> I do. I only do five points of damage. Okay, that's with your. Silver Dirk, yeah. Silver Dirk. And um, it is, it it slips off its hide. It doesn't puncture it, even though you score a hit. Okay. It, uh, oh, it's got to flip all its results, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Curse you. Well, the first thing it does is it, um, as it comes towards you, it charges and then goes to hit you. How does that work with it flipping the... It's got this. Oh, I'll roll the dice and it'll. I'll flip them. So for the worst, worst result, goes for bite attack. Mm-hmm. So it's either a fifty-three or a thirty-five. It bites you. I parry. Unless you parry. Yeah, I parry. Okay, you better roll. You need to roll under your parry. Is this attack slow like the other one was? Yeah, it's slow. So seventy-six. Cool. <laughs> I make it by one. <laughs> You're really lucky. <laughs> all right, he's um, all right. It's now Rafe's go. Rafe will just move up and attack this thing. So you're gonna uh, okay? You slip in uh, next to Marja. Is that right? Um, yep. And you've got two action points to spend. That's a hit. Ah, hang on, he's going to go for a, a parry himself. Does actually six damage do any enough to it? No. No, because yeah. I just forgot the damage from the shield. Um, so, but I've got a flip. Yeah, a, a sickle is slow though. Okay, so 70% chance. If I roll, let's see how we go. It's a 90. <laughs> flipped. <laughs> Otherwise it would have been a zero nine. Oh. But anyway, it um it cannot parry your blow because uh of uh, its eyes all swollen up. You've uh, blindsided it. So that'll be um nine damage. Okay, it drops down. So I can roll to see if I wound? Yeah, you can roll a D six. Two D six. Two D oh a vicious little thing, yeah. But no. <laughs> and I'll save my last action point. Okay. Back to Helmut. Um, I've seen Everyone race into that room, correct? Mm-hmm. So I will follow suit, um, charge in, and see a werewolf, and stab it. Oh, I've got two attacks. Yep. You can go for two attacks. First one, minus 10. So I take the minus off my combat score, so it's harder to hit. Yep. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. That is a fail. Just. Attack two is minus 20, is it? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it is. Remarkably. And it's a six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points of damage. Correct. It drops down to Grievous Wounded. Roll as E6 to see if you injure it. Six. Roll again. Oh, no. Yeah, roll percentile. 81. Your, as your um, weapon strikes, uh, you hit it uh, down through the arm, rendering it useless and splintering the elbow apart. Oh, hang on. It might not be a grievous injury because it's a hunting sword. Yeah, it's weak. He can't do a... Oh. But it is vicious. So if you... Well, it, so it doesn't matter. You got a six. You're supposed to roll two d six to see if it was an injury. Oh, okay, so it does a serious wound. Yeah, so it's a serious wound. 80, Eighty-one on the serious wound chart. Okay, no worries. Um, so what happens is your your sword tears into its shoulder, paralyzing it uh, and numbing it. The effect of this is that it will start its turn with two less action points. That's Capital. pretty good, Ilsa. I'm kind of behind everyone. Uh, and I shall offer uh, a prayer to embolden <laughs> everyone. M- may St. Peter guide your arm and give you strength to defeat the enemy of our Lord. Hopefully everyone now can have a bon- bonus to their roles or something. Okay, so that what you're doing is called an inspiring words um, special action, and it asks you to make a leadership test. And so if that's successful, a number of allies equal to your fellowship bonus add plus one damage to their, yeah, plus one to their damage and peril threshold once per combat. Right, I'll make my roll. Yes, I succeed. Everyone is emboldened by your prayers. Yeah, yeah. Unless they don't (laughs) want to be. Let's just hope this werewolf is not religious. (laughs) (laughs) You embolden the werewolf. Allies, sorry. (laughs) And back to Marja. I'm going to stab it. Are you attacking more than one? Just the ones. That is a hit. I roll d6. And that is a 6. That's a 11. 12. 16 damage. 16 damage with a... Silver dagger. Silver, Silver dirk. Silver dirk. All right. Roll me a d100. Oh, I had to roll to do an injury, didn't I? Or, or is not, I, uh, no, not if you've. Oh, I rolled a six on the, f- the dice anyway. So yeah, no, it's it's when I think when you do enough to take it to the bottom of its seventy-two peril track, you get to just roll. Okay, your weapon drives through the foe's shoulder and carries on into its chest cavity. Nice, shocked, it slowly slides off your. Blade whilst locking its yellow beastie eyes at you, and that with a, a guttural uh, last gasp, it says, You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> it falls to the ground, and then there is an ever widening pool of blood where the corpse are. Uh, transmogrifies into that body of a wolf, which just kind of quivers and shakes and twitches as the pool spreads, pool of blood spreads out. Was that a wolf where? was. What did the other one do in the corridor? Yeah, what did the other one turn into? Ah, likewise. Um, a wolf? The other one turned into a wolf okay. as well. I'm glad I did call out it could possibly be a wolf wear then because it would have been embarrassing to have made an error. <laughs> very very well observed, Ilse. Um, So has anyone else woken up to this kerfuffle? Um, to that question, I ask, Rafe, where do you keep your money? <laughs> um, presumably in my bag, I guess. Okay. Um, when you return, your bags have been rifled with and uh, Anna Rita is gone. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll get her to do a skullduggery test and... Um... Right. Um, you can lose lose an item from your backpack that she's made off with. She failed her role, so she, she didn't find your your money. She probably would have taken, uh, just in terms of things that might be worth anything, there's some folk bane in there or lock picks or anti-venom. Those seem like the kind of things that might yeah. sell, sell for money. Might take her off. Probably um, 
would she take the folk bane? Does that make sense or that would be used to clear a room of people? Like, is that its, it's purpose? Poison. It's like wolf's bane or um, animal bane, but for people, it does extra damage to humans. The yeah. poison. Ah, yeah, yep, th- yeah. That would be valuable. She'd take that. All right. So well, I had three. I assume she'd take it all. If it was all kept together, yep. she would have swiped yep. it. At least you kept your gold. <laughs> Well, um, what now? I am going to leave a terrible Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> These walls are paper thin. I think <laughs> the accommodation is terrible. I think we need to be provided with free rooms with, um, yeah, well. Yeah, I'm going to go out to the bar. And Is there anyone on duty now? It should be the second in command, shouldn't there? Uh, you, you've, you see uh, Little uh, kind of dozing in front of the fire. Uh, on that the rug. R- is thing. anyone else out here? Is, is the lascivious bard gone? Yeah, they've all they've all pushed on. All right. Well, I shake little R away. Oh, oh. What do you call this? Guess getting attacked in the night, and you're in here asleep. What? What do you mean? We just we just got attacked by two of your patrons <laughs> while sleeping. He um he kind of holds up his hand and he scratches his chest. And scratches his back and rubs his eye and kind of just nods. <laughs> and then he goes to lie down again. <laughs> I'll slap him in the face. He, 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 um, he kind of turns and goes, what'd you, what'd you do that for? <laughs> because I want some service and you're out here just sleeping. I'm sleeping though. Well, how are you sleeping through beasts destroying your establishment? He kind of looks around. Not here, in the corridor, in the common room. <laughs> oh, what's happened in the co- beasts in the common room? Yes, that that, that uh, Alfred and uh, I think Hesse, they attacked us as they became creatures. Did they? Yes. What happened? Well, we had to put them down. You did what? Well, the self-defense. We were being attacked. Oh, let me see this. He sort of start, you know, he sort of pushes past, and he he first he he goes to the common room and sees um, this uh, wolf convulsing in a <laughs> pool of blood, and he he kind of his his eyes widen, and then he kind of sees another wolf. Uh, in a pool of blood up the end. Presumably, sees a wall that's been completely destroyed <laughs> too. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this. <laughs> Maybe you should have prevented it happening in the first place. Why didn't you wake me up? Why didn't you wake <laughs> me up to see this? Well, we're a little bit busy, I'm afraid. <laughs> you killed, you killed um, uh, Alfred, the, the Tassazern. I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we weren't, qu- we weren't quiet about it. You go... <laughs> How how much more could we have done to wake you up, to be quite honest? Well, send someone, at least. Oh, this would this would be... Oh, you have... Look, come to the bar and tell me all about it. <laughs> oh, oh, this is oh. not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but my, my friends are going to need another room. Yeah, after you tell, you have to... You have to you know, well, one of you is going to have to tell me about it. And he... Oh, yes, he... Ah... <laughs> uh, she was that we. She was stupid. She was stupid too. <laughs> she started it. Well, I was sleep. Me and Elsa were sleeping peacefully in our room, and she started scratching and rattling our door handle. Yeah, and then she burst through the wall, so I stabbed the. Yeah, I. He he walks over and kicks her. <laughs> no, I have to fix this wall. <laughs> what was she even doing? Why was she just attacking patrons in the night? Does she, does she have a room here? Well, you know, sometimes she goes into the common room to sleep, but she doesn't like uh, Alfred. 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 <laughs> Alfred. That's his name. I didn't even. I, perhaps it is bad. I never fully learned his name. I didn't have time for him. So Alfred. Yes. Um, yeah. They. They usually avoided each other. Well, they seemed to be quite connected tonight. Well, are they related? Yeah, well, the smell of blood is quite thick. That would be enough to turn uh, someone who's got the uh, the hunger without being able to control it, I guess. But oh, well, kind of stiff the air. Mm. Mm. So, um, <laughs> just to be clear, you do believe they turned into beasts and and attacked us? 
Well, um... I, I ask only because we were in Harmonia not that long ago, and uh, something similar happened, and they they didn't believe it. They just they saw it with their own eyes, and no, nothing. Yeah, that, that's a thing. Are they just mad there, or? I, we are. We've. Uh, when I say we, uh, I they yes. Um, they're stupid. Humans. Humans are stupid. You're not from here, though, are you? No, we're from um quite far away. Yeah. Well, you maybe if you're here long enough, you also see things differently, but. It it is possible. Are you sure it was how? It, perhaps it was dark, and there was wolves that actually attacked you. No, no, I'm quite, I'm quite sure. Waking up from a bad dream, a hard night on the drinks and delirious. Perhaps you saw some. It looked like a. Sometimes wolves do stand on their legs and paw at things. No, no, it was a thing that was humanoid. Are you making a suggestion here about what we should say happened? Another question. You said humans are stupid. That is to say... <laughs> I caught that as well. <laughs> you're not human? Did I say that? <laughs> yes, you did. Well, uh, I'll let you uh, come to your own conclusions. I don't want to... Uh, I probably said too much and maybe I might get my hindquarters kicked for saying that, but... Um, who would, who would Do you mean your bottom... Hindquarters. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Who would be kicking human bottom? Who would be <laughs> kick, kicking your bottom? <laughs> oh well. Would it be the bard? It would probably be. Um, it no, no, the bard. No, he wouldn't do anything like that. It'd be Haldrake, the the boss. Yeah, he'd definitely be. And when I say kicking my bottom, it's because of uh, if I don't get this blood out of the floorboards. All right, we need somewhere to sleep. Somewhere secure. Find find us somewhere new to sleep, and then I guess you better get on with the scrubbing. So just just before I get on with the scrubbing and repairs, so the wolves came in and they they got past me, past the door. I probably look around. There might be an open window or another door somewhere. They came. No, through. it was Ulfric and Hesse. And then they attacked you. Well, I mean, Ulfric and Hesse. Well, just Marja, look, I'm perfectly happy to accept that they could have come in here some way that didn't involve them coming past you, if that's what you're yeah, concerned yeah. about. Oh, I'm, I was asleep. I'm sure, but we don't have to say that. Just they didn't come from where you were. Where's, uh, where is Alfred? He would, we were sleeping with him to go to the lake. Well, he's, he's there. Oh, that's a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I just woke up. Is Ulfric's belongings there where he was? Or, like, did he rip out of his clothes? Or Yeah, um, Ulfric's belongings are a torn mess. <laughs> Very transformed. Well, is it, can we see where Hesse transformed then? Or Toby wants to know if there's any money he can have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you can take six... Animal meats and uh, wolf pelt from the two wolves. In the pile of clothes, there is uh, there is some monies, and um, as you go, you're going to inspect this. Mm. Um, oh, look! The wolf must have eaten Ulfrod <laughs> and not left his clothes <laughs> while you were sleeping. Hmm. Uh, I should get this monies and give uh, it. I'll, I'll look after it. We'll look after it and return it. No, it belongs to his mother's now. We'll give it to his mother. He told us her, her address. Which is? I know what it is. <laughs> you give it here. Nice try. And you saw a wolf, right? We see eye to eye. So, sure. We, so if anyone we, asks we us, wolf, we saw a pocket? wolf. We saw a wolf as I put it in my pocket? <laughs> no, the, uh, at least give me half of it. <laughs> How much is it? Yeah, I'll give him half. You get, there's, um, you get one silver and... Uh, uh, six brass pennies. Sure. All right. Well, we we saw some wolves, and uh, poor Alfred was eaten. I guess I, by a wolf. Vicious. Yeah. Vicious. Vicious. Wolf. Vicious. Vicious wolves. The um. And as for um. I'm a greedy old nana. As for the wolf that ate Hesse, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I follow him. Uh, I must go to um up to the the servants' quarters. I'll follow. 
No, you're not allowed to. I'll follow. <laughs> you don't want to go there. I'll be back. So um, is she a servant of the bar? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> not really? No. <laughs> she li- so she lives in the servant quarters? Well, I can think that's where she might have gone. Ah, oh, so so I, I need half of her, her money to have seen a wolf. Do you think anyone's going to believe you? Well, I mean, yes, probably, because you all seem to be monsters <laughs> who know each other are monsters, so. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you even care if we tell everyone? I mean, uh, the people probably, uh, your friends are probably not going to care. Well, I think he's more worried about covering it up about how they got in and what they were doing there, why they were attacking us. These are, these are all good theories. Um, <laughs> but I will get you a new rooms, yes? Would you like a cup of milk? Um, I get you that. Put it next to your bed. You can go to sleep. Have happy dreams. <laughs> that right. sounds you nice, actually. You put you upstairs in a nice bedroom. We lock the door. Same. I want that as well. Yes, please. All of us. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry about the wolves breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. He's a terrible liar. <laughs> Very well. And so, um, unless there is anything else you wish to do, it's off to bed. Thank you.